Yeah, man, we got baby Sam tapping in with us too, man. The crowd, you know, introduce yourself, man. Yeah, man, it's baby Sam representing Hog Life Entertainment, man. You know what I'm saying? I don't know God gets for life, man. You understand me? That three right there for money, power, and respect. You understand what I'm saying? And at the end of the day, man, just holding on to God's gift, man. Just holding. Yeah. That's what's up, man. So, uh, you know, you fucking with the music and shit too like that. You in, you in the, uh, you out here making your moves, making your rounds, and doing your thing, man. So, uh, you know, explain to the people where you from and shit like that. You know what I'm saying, man, I'm from the West, man. You know what I'm saying? And at the end of the day, man, you know, I'm just a stomp down nigga. I'm a stand up nigga, man. Anybody know me, man, know I'm a stand up nigga. And at the end of the day, you know, just representing what I'm supposed to represent, man. RP to my uncle, man, you understand? I, I really feel like at the end of the day, he put all this shit in play for me, you know what I'm saying? A lot of shit that he was telling me to do when he was alive, and I'd be like, nah, man, just putting that shit out, because I'm, I'm, you know what I'm saying, nigga? I'm, when you listen to that Headstone, I got a single I just dropped on all platforms called Headstone. You know what I'm saying? The ten, 10 bands out some tennis shoes. Like, nigga, I did 10 bands, I some tennis shoes. Any nigga know me, they know the operation. You know what I'm saying? How I did shit. So, at the end of the day, I just appreciate everything he was trying to show me, because now that shit, it all fall in place, you know what I'm saying? From me turning down, you know what I'm saying? All of it, man. Go meet up with the nigga Champ, man. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to OG Champ. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to Lil Boss. You know what I'm saying? A nigga that's been fucking with me way before I ever was thinking of rapping. You know what I'm saying? I remember talking to this nigga on the phone. Ended up like pulling up on him at like a show or some shit that nigga had. And could like sit there and chop it up with me. He ain't even gonna get on stage. You know what I'm saying? I remember this shit. That's like my motherfucking big brother right there, man. So shout out to that nigga Boss, man. And you know what I'm saying? Uh, J Dog, you know what I'm saying? That nigga J Dog, you know what I'm saying? I remember when I first met that nigga when my uncle died, you know what I'm saying? He used to always tell me to go meet up with this nigga, go how they could, you know what I'm saying? I'm type of nigga, man, fuck out there, I'm going, I'm doing, you know what I'm saying? But shout out to that nigga J Dog too, because at the end of the day, I came to that nigga trying to figure the game out. And, and at the end of the day, he just telling me the shit he was going through at the time. And, See, I just, you know, monopolized everything that nigga was telling me, you know what I'm saying? And everything that was fucked up at the time, so. You know, right now that's where I stand. I've been doing this shit like strong, you know what I'm saying, like 10 months. You know what I'm saying? I've been rapping, you know what I'm saying, seriously, seriously for like, see, I say about three months. You know what I'm saying? I got a motherfucking mixtape for the drop. November the 7th, called Solid. You know what I'm saying? I got a uh, single lot on, uh, what that is, my mixtapes called Let It Uncle Sam. You know what I'm saying? And, okay, we gotta go tap into that, man. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Go, play, go, go. I, I did see. like, see, like, 20 something hundred in like see a week or two, you know what I'm saying? Okay. Just just off of that and see right now, I got that headstone, it's on our platform, like our platform. Now uh, that whole been out like a week too. I did uh, like three thousand spins on uh Spotify. I ain't checked out everything else yet, you know what I'm saying? I just know shit. I tap into that motherfucker every day, but you know, right now I'm just shit, going around the city, man, linking up with all the all, all the real street dudes that really doing this shit. Shout out to that nigga JP, man. Shout out to that nigga Polo Sauce, you know what I'm saying? Hey, and shout out to, you know what I'm saying, me, my nigga T Stupid, you know what I'm saying, me? Yeah, the chef holding it down. And at the end of the day, man, just shout out to the whole TSF, though, you know what I'm saying? Them niggas some real dudes, you know what I'm saying? But at the end of the day, shout out to Young Easy, hardest Mexican rapper, you know what I'm saying, me? <coughs> At the end of the day, you know what I'm saying? I'm fucking with niggas that's really doing it and, and, and a nigga gonna have that drive to go to the next level. Cause see, I'm gonna do some shit that's gonna change the city. I got something called Put Yourself On Houston. You know what I'm saying? And what that do is put artists on a platform. Cause see, I got five different, you know, celebrity judges, you know what I'm saying, me? And, and that, that'll be announced, you know what I'm saying, me? Or if you follow me on Instagram, you know who it is. And uh, at the end of the day, hmm, at the end of the day, it's a platform to, to help artists in the city that ain't being seen, that ain't being heard. You know what I'm saying? You might have, we might have 10 stars. You know what I'm saying? I'm looking for the first 20 artists. You know what I'm saying? The first 20 artists, and what I'm going to do is, you know, I'm going to help them, show them how to promote that shit. You know what I'm saying? It's all about marketing. You can have a weak ass song, but the way you market that shit is a hit. You know right. what I'm saying? It's niggas that got a hit song, don't know how to market that motherfucker, so it flops. So it's like at the end of the day, you expect somebody to do something for you. So at the end of the day, if you just invest $100 in yourself, and you got a, a person like me willing to show you a little bit, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, it's a business side. So whoever win in the end, you know what I'm saying? I'm going to show them the business side of this shit. Because at the end of the day, you know, I got a nigga that came to show me the game. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to that nigga. You know what I'm saying? So at the end of the day, 
I'm just showing the game and monopolizing it, you know what I'm saying? I mean, at the end of the day, it's a platform to where you can do what you want to do, man, and be heard, you know what I'm saying? And what it is is, you know, I may even have tickets for them to sell. So you can sell your fans' tickets. After 10 tickets, hey, the venue gonna bust down half of your sales with you, you know what I'm saying? So at the end of the day, it's like it's gonna get you ready to be a real artist, you know what I'm saying? Because it's like this. You can have a hot ass song, but if you can't sell no tickets, you can't, you can't, you know what I'm saying? Who are you? So it's like at the end of the day, you know what I'm saying? I'm I'm out here just with my brand doing what I do. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm everywhere. Shout out to my Hog Life team. You know what I'm saying? I started, I started this just, you know what I'm saying, with a thought of. Goddamn, you know what I'm saying? This is what I always believed in right here. You know what I'm saying? And at the end of the day, it just came in life. You feel me? I just started putting all my resources together. You know what I'm saying? And, and it really happened, man. That's how this Hog Life came about. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to my team once again. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, yeah. it just is what it is, man. You so, so uh, you know, a lot of people don't, people who don't know, you mm -hmm. know, some people from different cities, you know, Southwest right, side right, right, right. is a, a major factor in Houston. Right, one right. Of the, one right. of the known areas, you know what I'm saying? Hold the side over there, right. doing their thing for a long time. Right. And to see, you know, going all around the city, linking up with different neighborhoods, man, mm -hmm. that's dope. Like, yeah. because there's some niggas who kind of still, you know, not, yeah. not, it ain't no more north side versus right. south side shit, but I don't think it's no beef shit, it's just niggas in Houston kind of be stuck in their shell where, you know, certain, certain, right. certain but cities, when like, they see other niggas, mm -hmm. they like automatically, hey, I ain't got too much pride to go shake your hand, nigga. Hey, right, 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 right. You starting right. to see that happen more and right. more in Houston, man. Right. I see that with you too. It is like this here. If, if we all in the race, right? Yeah. If you go, if you go to a track meet, right? Niggas is going to start same finish line that they gonna end up in. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah. So we all had that same chance. Made the best man win. Gotcha. So it's like this. If we network while we at that line, and while we at that starting point, if we all network. Who's to say whoever the fuck gets to the end of the finish line and win? Who cares? You know what I'm saying? At the end of the day, if you network and did what you was supposed to do, that motherfucker might do what they need to do to put you in position. So it's like, it's more to it than just knowing somebody and them putting you in position. You don't even have the work ethic it takes. You know what I'm saying? You, you a hit nigga. You can make some good music, but you ain't even your drive you got just ain't, it don't match with what a nigga doing. So it's like, people got to think of it like that too. You know what I'm saying? Nobody going to just give you nothing. Nobody gave me nothing. Right. You know what I'm saying? Hey, right. shout out to Solo too though. You know what I'm saying? That nigga put me on that Hoover game, man. That's what got it all cracking. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah, we gotta go check that out too, man. Mm -hmm. too. Go check that out. Tap that yeah, 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 man. That Hoover Gang, man, that shit uh, on YouTube. Okay. We, uh, what was that? Uh, what was that motherfucker? Oh, say Cheese. Say Cheese posted it. Oh, say Cheese posted it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Slim TV. You know, shout out to Slim TV too. You know what I'm saying? That's they posted it. Yeah. So, shit. At the end of the day, man, I'm just trying to. Open it up for artists to be able to do their thing, cause it's like you know, people don't realize when they time that came and passed, and you still trying to hold on to some shit instead of passing the torch to the next nigga. And at the end of the day, he can see be your protege. That's that, that's money. You know what I'm saying? You know the game. You know the business. So why not go ahead and just you know what I'm saying? Let a nigga see what it really is, cause that's the respect in the game. You know what I'm saying? Niggas calling themselves OG and this and that. You know what I'm saying? I don't want to get into that shit because they ain't got nothing to do with me. Period. You yeah, know what I'm saying? Yeah. I'm an independent nigga doing my own shit. You know what I'm saying? Anybody know me? Know I'm a real live street nigga for real. You know what I'm saying? I'm not glorifying that because shit. I'm trying to lead that to transition into this. You know what I'm saying? At the end of the day, it's a gift God gave me. You know what I'm saying? And I'm just using it. You know what I'm saying? That's just what that is. So, hey, at the end of the day, you know, I'm just. Holding on to God's gift for life, man. Got you, got you. I understand that, man. Can't complain on that. So how y'all two link up, man? Let's talk about how y'all tapped in with each other. Man, shit. Just uh, shit through the set, man. Just through some, just real through street connects, through street connections, really. Shit. Yeah. I uh, I I brung it, took a little business trip down to Houston and shit, and um, uh, ended up linking up with my boy through a mutual homeboy and shit, and shit, it's been just genuine. We've been fucking with each other ever since. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. She just, you know, taking care of business, taking care of business. That's what's up, man. Now, I see y'all out here making the moves, man. Right, pushing right. this sound, pushing this movement. Right. You pumping the brand, they gotta go get that. And things of that nature, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got, I got, I got everything. Hoglife.com, you know what I'm saying? H-O-G-G-L-I-F-3. 
Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Hoglife.com, you know what I'm saying? That's me. Gotcha. You know what I'm saying? Gotcha, that's what's up, man. Make sure y'all tap into them, man. Check out all that music. Make sure y'all check them out on YouTube and SoundCloud and all that, man. Yeah, yeah, the yeah. Website, everything, man. We Instagram, my Instagram, yeah. H-O-G-G-L-I-F-3 underscore 52. Or you just type in Baby Sam, my yeah. shit gonna pop right up. Baby Sam, you know what I'm saying? Baby Sam.